Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Now, uh, <laughs> this was a game that I wanted to play on the channel for a while, uh, ever since it became available to do through the Xbox One, which I'm currently doing that on this platform, as you can see. And, um,. Then the Zaibatsu do it before me <laughs> with Pat and Wooly, and I was a little annoyed. But they did it in a certain path, which allows me to at least show the other path, so that way it's not like it's a complete ripoff <laughs> of what they did. So, anyway, um, to be fair, uh, since they have already somewhat aligned with things that I've already done on the channel, I figure, fuck it, who cares, right? So, I'm just gonna do it. So, that said, let's get started with the game. And this is like a decade and a half old game. <laughs> All the story things are already known, so it's whatever. But, <laughs> I'm going to try and maintain some suspense a little bit about things, if I can. Now, um, rogue, medium class, and soldier. Um, I didn't think about this <laughs> before I started. But, uh, what I'm going to do, probably... Since I'm going to be a melee guy, is that I'm going to do soldier. But at the same time, I'd rather still have the rounded out skills of the scout. Just like rounded out as in everything's like semi-equal. As opposed to the scoundrel, which is just all skills all the time. Eh. Oh wait, all feats all the time, very little skills. Uh... Wait, no, no, I'm, I'm screwing that up. <laughs> Mentally, I'm screwing that up. Wow, I need more coffee. Give me a second while I open my fucking coffee. There we go, okay. Okay. I downed half the coffee, now I'm able to function properly. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Soldiers are all feats. Because all the feats are usually combat-oriented. Scoundrels are usually all skills because they're not good at combat usually. Um, Scout is a mix of the two, and that's just the female version of that. But this time we're going to be playing as male, and I'll explain why uh, later. <laughs> but for now, uh, I'm going to do the Scout. I ain't going to do a quick character. Fuck that. Okay. Um, who shall be... The face of... I don't want to go typical white guy. Um, uh, there's not a lot of customization options here. And I'm not going to model it after me, clearly, because I'm considering other options for the face. Um, because there's so little customization options anyway. It, it was also discussed in the Zaibatsu playthrough that it just doesn't feel right. So, oh boy, my headset is goofing on me. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, hmm. Let's go with this guy. There we go. This will work. Um, remaining points. Oh boy. Uh, let's have him leaning towards strength a bit. Not too much to be blowing points. Um, dexterity. At least a plus one modifier would be good. Uh, constitution. Very good to have up here. Intelligence. Eh, we're not going to make him stupid. 
Wisdom, that's fine. Now I have two points to split or shove into place I want. Now, even numbers means absolutely fuck all. So, um, hmm. To say even, I'm at odd. Jesus Christ, I need more coffee. Give me a second. Fuck, this is what happens when you do an all-nighter and then do your recording at, like, three in the morning. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Uh, anyway. Odd numbers mean nothing. Even numbers are golden. So, um... It's better if I put them into a stat that'll help me. I could put them into charisma. Although intelligence would help add points to add essential skills. Um Let's, let's add it to intelligence, huh? Just just to help out a little bit when it comes to the points uh, accumulation, huh? That sounds good to me. Alright, and we got remaining points of 20. Oh, mama. Ha, ha, ha. Persuade. Early on, persuade's not going to be useful. Um... But later on down the line, it's going to be very useful. So, uh, I want to at least devote a couple of points to it. All right. Um, treat injury. That'll be a godsend for a while. Oh, that's right. It's two point because it's cross class. Ah, fuck. Oh, I'd rather not waste the points this early on. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um. Demolitions is just semi-worthless. Because you'll eventually get people who can do it for you. Ah, uh, gods. I'm, I'm stressing my brain because I'm so sleepy. <laughs> about where I should be putting shit. It is a class skill, though, so at least that helps. Awareness is good. Repair is decent. Security, I don't need that. Ah, uh, fuck, though. It's already a class skill. Uh. Man... I do want to put it in Persuade, but Demolitions is... Uh, I don't want to waste points in Demolitions either, because Demolitions doesn't really help anything, except for Mines. Uh, Jeebus. Okay, let's just go with that. Go with feats, medium armor proficiency, which is just fine by me. Two weapon fighting. This early on two weapon fighting doesn't really help much because two weapon fighting uh, isn't really available until later in the game. So it's better to wait until at least level two or three. Uh, I want to say three. So. It's not really viable until then. Oh yeah, the uh, cybernetic implants. This is also a good reason why I put the constitution up to 14. Because this will allow the cybernetic implants of stronger, you know, magnitudes. Um, I have flurry, which is not bad, but um, relying on it alone is not great. Um, hmm. Critical strike. Uh, critical strike has its own usefulness. P 
power attack is just uh, not really worth the points. At least this early on. I could go for toughness. Toughness is always a reliable fallback. Skills is just uh, no, 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 no. Tell you what, we're gonna go for critical strike after we get the two weapon fighting. Uh, for now, we're just gonna put this into toughness. That'll work. And now the name. Um, I didn't think of anything, so I'm just gonna let the randomizer choose its shit. Uh, and then alter it as I see fit. I am not even having my eyes on the screen right now. I'm just pressing the button until now. Lender Lana. Eh, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, let me change it to... Uh... Laura. Okay, there we go. Let's do it with that. Lender Laura. Yeah, sure. I, I like it. I like it. Lender Laura. Lender, for short. Although... <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know now. Ferrant... Farron Khan. Okay, that one was better. <laughs> oh, man. Farron Khan. All right, all right, all right. I can't really complain about that. Oh, man. The FMV is still in the goofy aspect ratio, which is fine. Which is fine. Anyway. It's legacy. <laughs> the legacy aspect ratio. Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Terrace, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate attempt to halt the Sith's galactic domination. And we'll see how that works out, shall we? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. It's weird when I turned on my headset this morning. It was all the way down, and I don't remember turning the volume all the way down. It was a little weird. This is our ship. Well, I mean. <laughs> it's uh not in the greatest of conditions that thruster is knocked out and uh kind of tilting it's not a not a nice way to be tilting and here I am just fast to fucking sleep fuck whoa okay what the? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Shit's happening. Shit is happening. I don't know what. So. Oh, Jesus. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Oh, what was your first clue? Who are you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with Trask, the Republic okay. fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now, okay, that's up. fair. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. All right. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. 
Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One All of right. her primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Do you want I heard me to remind me? Saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. I mean, that's fair, but geez. Uh, yeah, let's go help. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Absolutely. Where can I get my equipment? Use the right thumbstick to control the camera. Oh, geez. And the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the I forgot about this. Open your locker once it is targeted, Just like or you can fourth the wall and right triggers to cycle between sledgehammer until the foot locker is highlighted. <laughs> then press the A button to open it. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. There we go. Ooh, all of my stuff. All of the stuff. Oh jeez. Okay. I know all of this already, so blow through this. Uh, cardio package. Good idea. Good idea. Um, now this is a little annoying because I've played two. I played two before I did one. The graphical um, capacity didn't really change, so uh, I figured, you know what, it's good to do one first, and I did a little bit of one before I started this LP. Um, the most annoying thing is the lack of weapon switching, because that was such a welcome addition in 2, and it's just not present in 1, and that's going to be annoying real damn fast to have to go in and change weaponry should I need to, but I honestly don't think I'm going to have to change weaponry all that often. So, there we are. Okay, let's move out. We should that stick sound together. Good. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. All right. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, Drask. All right. And it's... <laughs> I find it hilarious that they show all the other companions are going to get just as blacked out silhouettes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's not spoiling anything at all. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. All righty. And I already know how to do that, so there we go. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Okay. Switching Furin Khan back to party leader. I should figure out a pronunciation for that name. Farin Khan? Furin Khan? Not I, I want to go Farin Khan. So uh like a higher E. Okay. Anyway. Onward we go! This is Carthel Nassi. Oh, geez. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! Sounds that was good. Carth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have right. to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Sounds good. And then, how do I use this, the fourth wall breaking shit? Okay. Journal. Uh, Jesus. I might as well go all th through all of these now, because it's just going to become a nuisance later. There we go. Uh, attack on the end of our spire. Alrighty. Utility droid. And he's not going to help. Okay, that's fine. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. Switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. I forgot the triggers will control things. Targeting rectical. Oh, rectical. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party. For oh, the boy. Republic. I, how did I end up in the fucking hallway? Okay, um... Uh, sure, let's try Flurry. That's a good trick. Oh, blew right through his fucking defenses there. Nice. Nice. I got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Oh, it won't. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. 
Sounds good. But, uh... Just want to double check that... Hey. Oh, hey! Some remains over here of this guy. Some credits. Oh! Fuck you! That was not fair. Well, this robot's done for. Okay, um... I have multiple skills and blah, blah, blah. Uh... Yeah, let's... Two points?! I wasted a mentak on two points?! Fuck! Alright. There we go. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I know half of this shit. Do not speak to me of the old magic. I was there when it was written. Alright. Got some metal boxes over here. Good. Some remains over here. What do you got? Frag grenade. Alright. Now we're talking. We've got some more frag grenades. Okay. Got a long sword, a short sword, and a combat suit. Okay. Um. Well, since that was available right away. Faster than I thought. Um. Oops. Ah. Uh, absolutely do this the other way. Long sword here. Short sword here. There we go. Ah. Uh, I didn't realize it was this early on. <laughs> Next level up. Next level up, we'll be fixing that. Oh boy. Whoa. Well, you're all dead. Oh, well, you're gone. Oh, great. Throw a frag grenade and kill your buddy. That's a good idea. Stupid asshole. Oh boy. Uh. How do you like a frag grenade? Stupid ass. Uh, how about that? Did that feel smarter? Huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Got you. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Healing. Like now. That was close. Why are you bothering fixing a door? Robot! Oh! I hear some action going on down that way. But uh, we can't, uh, we can't join that action yet. Just not quite yet. Oh boy. I, uh, Forgot how much I'll need med packs for the entire mo morning, early section. Oh, there's the action. It's Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. I gotta admit, his armor is rather shiny. Cool. Oh. 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 Okay, is, is there eventually going to be an end to this? Oh, there we go. Oh! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Yeah, we could have. That... that sucks. It sucks for her. Can, can I get her lightsaber? Like, at some point? Now? Okay. Okay. Okay, come on, please. Oh, fuck off. Using a med kit. That's cheating. Well, I'm allowed to use the med kit. Okay, got credits. Oh! Oh. I got a vibration cell. That's a thing. Alright. Well, at least be good for my melee weapon. Okay, bridge is not where I wanted to go. It's not yet. There's the one door that I couldn't take because it was being worked on by a robot that then exploded. Ah, uh, fuck the top off. There we go. Oh, mama. Okay. Okay, well, these guys are fighting. Oh, hey. I'm level up. 
Basto is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastil alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Yeah, so we should probably get the fuck off of it, huh? Okay, level up. Never, ever, 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 ever auto level. Okay. Just a word of advice. Okay, so. Four points that I can put into whatever. Uh, just round out all the skills. Cool. And put this into two weapon fighting. Alrighty. Everything's fixed. It's all good now. Blaster pistol. Mains. Okay. And that's another quality of life change in uh, 2. Is that when a thing's empty because you looted it, it will at least tell you it's empty. So that's going to be a problem. Whoa going to be a problem later on when I'm making sure I've looted all the possible lootables and uh, <laughs> it's not telling me that I've looted all the possible lootables. That'll be annoying. Yep. Anyone? Nope. Okay. So, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now simply because I don't have a lot of time for this episode. I was kind of pushing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to end this episode, get it edited, and we'll have a new series running. That'll probably take a while if the Zaibatsu's playthrough is anything to go by. <laughs> and considering I am slower than them in a lot of respects, that'll make it a little longer probably. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and keep it about as long as it took for the Zaibatsu. But anyway, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and getting into our Star Wars adventure as our scout guy who's getting into the game. And kind of um, escaping for his life off of a ship that's about to blow the fuck up. For you!